Dear friends, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing His triumph over death and living with Him in God. Let us pray. Kitsamanato Niyotsuna, O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by the Paschal celebration we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And if you can show. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to Him and all the ages. To Him be glory for and power through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. Amen. And now a lighting from the camp, the fire. And we invite you at home to now light your candle at home.
Dear brothers and sisters, salut idem. Now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate how God in times past saved his people. And in these, these last days, has sent to us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. And we have our first reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void. 
and darkness covered the face of the deep, while the Spirit of God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the lights from the darkness. God called the, dark, the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning, the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit of every kind on earth, that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning, the third day. And God said, let there be light in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and morning. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly across the earth, the, across the earth, across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm 
and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and morning. The fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all of the animals of the world, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created human beings. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth god said see i have given you every plant yielding fruit that is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit you shall have for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth everything that has the breath of life i have given every green plant for food and it was so god saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good and god saw that it was good and there was evening and morning and God saw that it was good and there was evening and morning the sixth day thus the heavens and the earth were finished all their multitude and so on the seventh day God finished the work that he had done. He rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. The word of the Lord. God saw that it was good and there was evening and morning and God saw that it was this day and this day we praise you stars will grace the night we praise you O Lord for all your works are wonderful we praise you Out of each 
up with a guiding hand. You raised your arm and set us free. And like a tender vine, you planted us to grow on to the sea. We praise you, O Lord, for all your works are wonderful. We praise you, O Lord, forever is your love. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Kitsumanato, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, May those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, but, lift, but you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the children of Israel may go into the sea on dry ground. Then I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians and that they will go in after them. And so I will gain glory for myself over Pharaoh and all his army his chariots and his chariot drivers. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gained glory for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots and his chariot drivers. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them and the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel. And so the cloud was there with the darkness, and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The children of Israel went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. All the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud, looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, Let us free from the children of Israel, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not one of them remained. But the children of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians, so the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. The prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. Moses and the children of Israel sang the song to the Lord. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us sing. 
I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my might, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he cast into the sea. His picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrew your adversaries. You sent out your fury. It consumed them like stubble. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. You brought your people in and planted them on the mountain of your own possession, the place, O Lord, that you made your abode, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us pray. Niotsune Seyadarie, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand. Now you bring about at the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Those are the readings that we're going to have for our video to today. But if you wish to go through the other readings, please see your missile and uh, can go through the extensive number of readings all about God's saving action in the past so that we have trust in his saving power today. And we now on this Easter vigil Proclaim the Gloria, singing it together. Amen. 
us pray. O God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now have the reading from the New Testament called the Epistle. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death. So that just as Christ was raised from dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved, enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you, you also must consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. 
This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you. 